school. I was in the States at the time, and choir is a class. So I was auditioning for one of the solos, and I got my solo. But there was something, there was something about it that just rang so hard within me. I was like, this is what I want to do. So I ran home. I remember just being so excited. I was like, mommy, 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 <laughs> I got the solo. And she's just like, oh, congratulations. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not all. Mm-hmm. I want to be a singer. I want to be a musician, mom. And she's like, are you sure? Really, really? And because she had invested so heavily in my father's career. She was okay. his first marriage. Um, so in the 80s, we're talking Ilanga days, mm-hmm. grab, you know, mm-hmm. those days. That's that's when my parents, you know, um, became married and mm-hmm. that kind of thing. So she knew what it was going to take. And she just saw it in my eyes in that moment. And she said, okay, great, then mm-hmm. let's do that. Mm-hmm. And she was the person who just really nurtured the you know n- not just the talent but you know the passion she 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 helped me turn the passion into an obsession that's great and here we are today and and turning the passion into, into an obsession. obsession that's yeah. great that's a quote <laughs> now amara is someone that i've actually worked with a lot <laughs> a lot so um in most of your tracks and in, in the recent years you know mm-hmm. you've always hinted at andy brown forever mm-hmm. may his soul rest in eternal peace mm-hmm. and for me it's like you are continuing his legacy mm-hmm. you know you're owning your throne mm-hmm. but at the same time continuing mm-hmm. the andy brown legacy mm-hmm. what does that mean for you personally you know as his daughter and you know like from a father who was such an epic an icon <laughs> yeah an yeah. epic musician now to you and you're ca- still carrying this flame you know um a lot of people in this life are not um blessed enough to do what they love for a living yeah. you know and i think part of part of what makes my father's memory great is that you know when all is said and done when you are no longer on earth your mm-hmm. legacy lives on a lot of people get it confused because they think oh well you know everything should have been easy for Amara because you know her dad is Andy Brown etc etc yeah. but he didn't leave wealth behind that's mm-hmm. not what the industry catered to it still doesn't he left a legacy behind so for me it's it's the concept of just you know the how fantastic how true his music was to speaking for Zimbabwean people um of so many different types and kinds mm. and being so versatile and always being about quality of music as opposed to quantity of music mm. um and that's definitely an honor just within itself a lot of people have asked me you know are you going to fill his shoes and i said he never he never groomed me to fill his shoes mm-hmm. he groomed me to make my own shoes yeah. mm-hmm. you get what i'm saying all i can do is is um make sure that his legacy is remembered mm-hmm. um and 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 use him as an example because in reality my parents believed in me mm-hmm. long before anybody else did yeah. and part of who i am today is because they allowed allowed me to create you know to have my dreams but turn them into goals mm-hmm. and invest in that a lot of artists struggle with lack of support mm-hmm. and it's hard enough just in the industry itself mm-hmm. without having your own family not even supporting what you do mm-hmm. um and that's why you find people are miserable you know walking around in this life because they don't get to do what they love or they don't choose to do what they love every day mm-hmm. no matter what the cost is mm-hmm. so it's it's larger than the music it's about uh, a, a way of thinking um, that that both my parents, uh, you know, practiced and preached and and taught. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, um, like you said, uh, some people would think that you had it easy because of the legacy that your father had mm-hmm. in the music industry. Mm-hmm. But um, what are some of the challenges that you faced starting off? Uh, of course, we know that the Zim music industry, sometimes <laughs> people <laughs> struggle for real, real. So how was it for you? Listen, I, I had every regular struggle that every musician has. Mm-hmm. Everything from the radio stations not playing your music, mm-hmm. um, not being able to get interviews, uh, you know, spending 50 bucks, putting rehearsal time in in the week Mm -hmm. and then making you know enough to pay ten dollars to each band member and Mm -hmm. walking away with six dollars like in the past five years I've literally experienced this Mm -hmm. and people that's not a side that I talk about you know um, but I've had all the levels of challenges if I want studio time Mm -hmm. it's twenty five dollars an hour the producer wants four hundred five hundred to eight hundred bucks for one song you know (laughs) I'm not even talking about an album you know and I suppose it's a complication because people saw me and just thought oh she must have you know tons of money somewhere Mm -hmm. but literally I was just going out performing working everything that I work went towards it's 
let's keep Zessa in the house, food in the house, lights, keep my son in school, yeah. my son fed, you know, I was, I am a single mother. And on top of that, invest, invest, invest. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I haven't gotten to the place in my career where I'm just like, my money is just for all sorts of splurging, mm -hmm. just in jail. No, mm -hmm. I invest extremely heavily into my craft because um, I just want a certain quality to be maintained i want to lead by example so mm. you know um it, it's been a very long <laughs> road mm. um and i and i again a book a book is in order I think. <laughs> right yeah. uh, a book is in order we need we need to get that book We're looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. now talking about the the album launch yeah i think the most interesting feature apart from the countdown the countdown was genius it was amazing that I mean, that's, that's some great pr yeah thank you so much yeah i will, I will credit that to 10 mm -hmm. uh okay. Because Ten literally was like, you guys only have four countdown posts, and, mm. he, and and then he saw the photo shoot that we had done with Kudzai King, and he was like, now <laughs> we're using all the photos mm. from that shoot, mm -hmm. and it was so funny because when I was younger, I only realized it days later, and I I remembered watching Bow Wow mm. on BET, mm. and Bow Wow had like a countdown every day at like yeah. seven o'clock. You were reminded daily, and I yeah. just think, oh my god, I would love that for my album one day, mm -hmm. and, and and you did, and it. did it. Yeah, we did it. Amazing. Yeah. And the, the one of the features, I mean, I can't get over <laughs> <laughs> these pictures. They're Thank like, you. you know, go to Amara Brown's uh, Instagram, mm. Instagram page. You will, yeah, you won't regret what you <laughs> see. <laughs> Trust me on that one. But then the the collaborations. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a very decorated album Thank when you. it comes to collaborations. Mm -hmm. There's Titan. I mean, who doesn't know Mukoko? That right. was an anthem. An yeah. anthem. And right now yeah, with so all is. these other tracks, mm -hmm. mm, it mm -hmm. might get overtaken. You <laughs> know. <laughs> And then we have one with Yuma Sekela mm -hmm. and your sister Chengeto. Mm -hmm. I mean, Nati O yeah, as well, ABX. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's talk about these collaborations. Mm -hmm. How did you figure out, you know, you actually wanted to work with these people? I'm somebody who, um, you know, subscribes to the concept that the song is king. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, you know, tend to make collaborations because it's a good look or, you know, it's a good exchange of markets. But at the end of the day, if the song isn't great, then I I don't understand what the point is mm -hmm. when all is said and done, you know. Um, and so obviously with Mukoko, you already know the story. That was a very natural, organic thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you want with Chengeto. Literally, her just jumping into my bed one morning and mm -hmm. saying, hey, what are you doing today? I was like, I'm going to the studio. Want to come? <laughs> yeah, cool. Let's go. Uh -huh. um, and we had a great time. 24 hours later, we had a hit on our hands. Mm -hmm. So that, that was its own just, you know, avalanche. Mm -hmm. And um, then moving on to Huma Sekela, mm -hmm. I remember I was in Inyanga. I was opening for Uncle Tuku. Mm -hmm. And quite literally... Uh, I remember my manager saying, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, backstage. Bruh, he wants to watch your performance. So mm -hmm. he's asking for a front seat. And he's trying wow. to, oh my God, my nerves. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> what? You know, and I and I didn't know him at the time. You know, mm -hmm. it was my first time, you know, mm -hmm. meeting him. And, and I don't think I was so scared. But I, I remember getting on stage and I, I watched them as they ushered him you know into the seat I was just like you know what Amara just be yourself just mm -hmm. just be yourself yeah. and that's it so when I performed I didn't perform looking at him because I knew it would make me more nervous yeah. I just addressed the rest of the crowd I gave it my everything mm -hmm. and he absolutely loved it when I got backstage he said Amara I have never seen anybody work so hard mm -hmm. whatever you're drinking I want it what are you <laughs> on and I was like water Sekuru just water is it? water from where mm -hmm. I want it he's just like wow you're so energetic mm -hmm. you know I remember him saying actually you're Zimbabwe's best kept secret. We've mm -hmm. got to get you out of here. Yeah, and and I I didn't quite understand what he meant uh, yeah. at the time. Um, you know, in terms of how he'd like to get involved, I was still just like, oh my God, you must kill her. You know, just you know, starstruck. And a week later, I was performing at Unplugged, and he came again. He heard I was performing, and he showed up again. Mm -hmm. And uh, literally after the performance. He, I said, you know, he loved it, and he was just like, because it was a very different show, it's mm -hmm. different market, so you provide a different type of show, mm -hmm. and he loved it, and he said, um, this was amazing. I just, you know, you just, you take my breath away, and I said, thank you so much. Hey, listen, um, I've got an album. You know, I mustered up the. <laughs> The yeah, courage to ask yeah. him, like, you know, would you like to do something with me? And he said, yeah, sure, no, definitely. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> we got into studio, and I had two songs. So if you look at the track listing, Human Sekela is on two songs, actually. Yeah. And yeah. how it happened was I wasn't sure which song 
to give him to listen to. Mm -hmm. But the more sentimental song was Next Lifetime because I had co-written it with my late sister Chiedza. Okay. And so uh, I played him that one first and he said, oh, this is beautiful, this is classic, you know, it's Mbira based and, you know, but it was, it's blended with R&B and it, it really resonated with him. I was so glad. Mm -hmm. So he walked into the booth and just nailed it. He just did amazing. He comes out and he said, oh, this is beautiful, da, 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 da. And I said, do you want to hear some of the rest of the album? And he said, yeah, definitely, please. So I said, I, well, there was this other song. Let me start with the other song I thought you might like. Mm -hmm. It's called Tawina, um, but it's more like upbeat and, you know, groovy. And I wasn't sure if you'd like to, you know, get onto an Afro beats type thing. And he said, well, just play it for me. Let me hear it anyway. About 10 seconds in, he was like, hey, 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 Amara, you're not playing with these people. He mm. stood up and danced his way back into the studio, <laughs> right back into the booth, and was like, I'm recording on this one. So that was a beautiful, beautiful experience. Mm. I had such a great time. Mm -hmm. And um, and then Say No with Natio was just really, again, you know, very organic. I was uh, recording the last bits of the, stu uh, the album mm -hmm. at JP Studios these past couple of months. Mm -hmm. And I, I was recording with Chiweda. She would have produced Say No. Okay. And I knew there was, some, we knew, it. I, I wanted like a male collab collaboration, but I couldn't figure out like who had the thing, you yeah. know. And she would have says, oh, how about Nati? Oh. And I was like, is he here? And he says, yeah, he's in the other studio with Tamuka. I said, okay, well, talk to him. So t let him come inside and he can listen to it and, you know, let us know what he thinks. Mm -hmm. Man, <laughs> Nati is so cool. He was just, he's just so young and mm. just eager to learn. And like he, he listens. He's not one of those artists who's just like, this is what I've delivered, deal. He was just like, do you like this? Do you think that this is hard? And I'm just like, oh, no, okay, let, let's change this and change that. Do you mind if you go back in? And he's okay. just like, cool, he's just super hungry and he's so great at what he does already. Mm. I can't even imagine in five years' time what he's going to sound like because yeah. he nailed it. Mm. You know, he just nailed it and he's got good good vibe so um, a lot of beautiful uh, memories uh, collaborating on this uh, album it took a lot of manpower we had nine producers on this thing Wow ten if you include That's myself a lot of <laughs> it's a lot of people but I wanted you know just every song to have its own strong suit to mm -hmm. have its own identity mm -hmm. to be true to what I was trying to communicate the essence of the song mm -hmm. uh, call me obsessive but that's that's me you know, Amara, I've always had this one question I've always wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. There's a song that you sang on TWZ. That was such an amazing song. Yeah. Where can we get that song? I actually like that it's song. It's on the album. It's on the album it's as well? Next Lifetime. That's the Great. one featuring you, Masikila. But the one that I did uh -huh. on TWZ was uh, acoustic. So it was just yes. Mbira and the guitar. Mm -hmm. Now you get to hear the full Now production. we get to hear the full yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Okay, yeah. great clarity on that one. Because yes. I've loved that song and I've looked for it and I was like, so where can I find it? Where can I find it? Now yeah, that the yeah. album's here, it's I'm here. definitely going to get it. <laughs> um, it takes a long time for some people to come up with a masterpiece such as yourself. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you? Um, this one took between three to five years, depending on how you look at it. Mm. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't come easy. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> I like how you said three to five years because some of the tracks that are actually on the album we've actually heard before, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but now it's like they're coming on in a in a fresh way with yeah. some new collaborations. Yeah. So yeah. I can believe that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, gosh. I actually haven't listened to the album yet, oh except for God. for a few tracks. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah it was too. just launched yesterday. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. what's really hurting me oh. is I missed the Achilles debut video. video. I was so keen on watching that <laughs> because I saw the behind the scenes yeah. and I was like, Whoa, this Achilles, that muscled <laughs> up. Hunk. <laughs> it's like, am I where did you find this person though? Uh, you know, I literally, I remember it was a couple of days before the shoot. I mm. said, Tsungi, I don't know anybody who I think will mm. nail this role. Yeah. <laughs> and my manager had happened to be a part of, um, she was shooting for a TV show mm. and she was playing the mother of... Sean's mother. So Achilles' mm -hmm. real name in life is Sean. Sure, yeah. And she was playing his mother in another TV show. She's like, you know, I know this guy. Mm -hmm. I think he would be really dope. He's mm -hmm. quite cute, and he looks like he could be a. <laughs> I was gonna, s a, an, an F boy. I don't know what. <laughs> uh, what appropriate way to say? Yeah. There's no appropriate you know, way. Yeah. yeah. He looks like he could play. You know. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, okay, cool, dope. And she sent me some pictures. I was like, yes, that's the one. one. That's the one. <laughs> All we have to do is make sure that he, you know he comes across strong on camera and mm -hmm. he did he was really really cool and just really professional mm -hmm. and when the camera switches on it was a it was funny because 
I remember Black saying, you know, Sean, you need to like seduce her, like, you know, get into it. And he's like, um, I have a girlfriend, like, I'm scared to be <laughs> dumped. <laughs> <laughs> so we were just really like awkward because you know you don't know someone and you don't like yeah. generally have that mm -hmm. vibe with him but mm -hmm. you know we we put on our professional hats and, yeah. and we got it going and it, it came out good that's amazing let's talk about the video locations mm -hmm. i noticed that there was the national gallery was no. i right that no. wasn't the national gallery not at all we were sitting on these white yeah like, no the, wow that, that looked like the gallery but let's talk about the locations okay um that was the flame Wow, it's a okay. it's a it's a beautiful new restaurant that popped up a couple of months back, mm. and it's owned by somebody I just know and love, and her yeah. design eye is just amazing. Anyway, okay. I, let me not ramble. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I you know I said to Blacks, hey, you know I think that place would be really dope. It's got some you know some rooms I think that would just nail what we're looking for, okay. and uh, and I was right. So uh -huh. we went, we checked it out, boom hands up the whole video was no there. not the whole video uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. i wanted a warehouse space because okay. of course remember i i conducted the achilles you know dance challenge with john cole uh -huh. and you know i wanted the fans to be yeah, a part be of a the part video of and so i knew it wasn't just going to be me and two dancers mm -hmm. i knew it was going to be just this massive you know mm -hmm. team of you know so there was about 30 you know the entire production cast and crew i'm pretty sure we were you know f between 40 and 50 people that mm, day on set great. so it was it was a lot <laughs> Um, and we managed to shoot at uh, Boca Warehouse. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we're left with just a few more minutes, four minutes, uh, but we can't let you go without doing our <laughs> traditional thing here, uh, where we just ask you questions, and okay. the first thing that pops into your mind is what you say. So you only have, in this case, I think, two seconds to answer, because Sheesh. it's only it's only four minutes. <laughs> oh, I'll give you three. Let's just say three seconds to answer. Okay. Okay. All right, so what's the last meal that you had? Uh, chicken and chips. Okay, what's your current obsession? My work. <laughs> <laughs> your work, okay. Bad what's on. something you own that you cherish? Oh, there's so many things. One thing? My mbira. Mm. Okay, all right. What scares you the most? Mm, bearing my son. All right. Um, what, do you, what do you hate the most? hate mm -hmm. the yeah. most hate like something that you hate can't like stand. i can't stand this when someone does this uh, that's so difficult <laughs> uh, it, you know just pettiness mm. okay immaturity mm. can't handle that can't handle that can't handle it all right what's your favorite andy brown song <laughs> Maringa ringa nde ani de achazi tira banga na zochi wa na chicha kunda mchocho wendo ropam soro chia chiro iwomto gua chinyura. Oh, you know what? Her, her, uh, if she couldn't answer in three seconds, she was gonna <laughs> sing. But she, she just jumped. She just did it anyway. So I always have this beautiful memory because I was in the states when I when I uh -huh. first heard that song and it just moved me so much. Yeah. I loved it. It was also a game we used to play. It's a game that he uh -huh. turned into this masterpiece. So. Oh, wow. That's my favorite. Amazing, amazing. Three I second question. Uh, gosh. You know, the thing is, I know what my heart I don't know. So let me continue. What's the, what's the three things? What are three things on your bucket list? Mm. On my bucket list? Mm. I, don't, I don't really have a bucket list, to uh, be honest okay. with you. You know, in my mind, all of the things are just sort of unfolding as I go. Like, I know I know, I want to be a musician. I know mm. I want to, okay, I know I want to open a school, a school mm -hmm. of music. That's okay. important to me. I know I want to own a farm. Mm -hmm. I just want to live, like, far away with a huge yard where I can make lots of noise or <laughs> I can have absolute <laughs> serenity. Yeah. Um, and... Um, travel with my son okay I, I really want to travel with him like when i'm touring uh -huh. I, i'd love to for him to, to just be, be on him. board um uh, it's just it's it's difficult to explain oh, and man. and write a book write a book or two definitely mm -hmm. yeah we, we were waiting for that book i yeah. found a question uh -huh. uh -oh. if your son uh -huh. were to say mom uh -huh. i want to be like you uh -huh. and have a musical career uh -huh. would you support him 110 percent. i wouldn't even blink about it i'll be like all right baby what do you need this is as much as i can do for you and there this is. is what you need to do for yourself and yeah do what my dad did mm. that's how he was you know Amazing. even when i wanted pocket money my dad was just like okay here's some pocket money but if you want to if you want money in your life with toiletries come get to work so mm -hmm. the last time my dad gave me money i was 14. wow and i was working i've been mm -hmm. working ever since mm -hmm. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> I, I can't picture myself at 14. This is not pure. Like, 
lesbians. Like, what would I do? <laughs> nah, my dad came from hard knock, yeah. you know, because he was an orphan as well. Mm-hmm. So, he, you know, he, he understood just a lot just of different that. dynamics. He lived a lot of different life mm-hmm. um, styles in, in, in the time that he was given on earth. And, mm-hmm. and, and, you know, I get it. Oh, okay. Oh, man. You know what? Time is just not on our side. But we would have loved to get to know Amara Brown a little more. It was amazing, though, having you coming into studio. Please feel free to come to the Capital Click any time. Definitely. You guys got good energy here. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you so much. You've been listening to the Capital Click. We have come to the end of the show. That wraps it up. Uh, It's been an amazing four hours from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We've talked a lot and we've had a lot of great conversations. But right now, uh, it is 2 p.m. and it's time for the news. Have a great afternoon. Zimbabwe Diabetic Association urges Zimbabweans to participate in this year's annual World Diabetes Day. Parliament to conduct public hearings for the insolvency bill and electoral amendment bill. And local school makes history by winning UNESCO Prize on Education for Sustainable Development. In African World News, Telecom's giant voter. Vodafone ends its operation in Cameroon following withdrawal of its operating license. And former FIFA president Sepp Blatter accused of sexual harassment. Those are the headlines this hour. I'm Blessing Monazzi.